Okay, so we're going to set up the dye bath here. It's uh, very easy. I just got a one burner uh, carafe here, a hot plate, so to say, uh, and then uh, just an old coffee pot. And uh, we get this set up to dye the quills. Uh, excuse my voice, I have a little bit of a cold. but. The heat you want to get it to is just before boiling. Uh, when you see the water, it'll start to just have little bits of bubbles in there, and um, that's when you know. But to really make the dye work a little bit better, I like to put a little bit of salt in the mix. I'll just put some salt in there, get it nice and salty, and then some uh, just distilled. Uh, white vinegar. In my little uh, lab I have here is on top of my uh, washing machine. i put some towels down because you don't want to get stains anywhere. You can do it in your kitchen but you run the risk of uh, getting stains on things. And Well, other people might not appreciate that. Put your, your vinegar open and what I have in here is 10 cups worth of uh, water. Then we're going to put in about two teaspoons worth of uh, vinegar. Not too much. And then we're going to do the red lemon yellow first. Just dump, dump it about uh, two teaspoons full. A fair amount. Now I just got a mixing stick here. Just gonna mix all that up. I mean, I let that get up okay. to temperature. I've got stripped peacock eyes that we did with the strip bleach. And then I have here Left. just a cup of water to rinse and uh, see. It's not really a rinse. It's more to check the color of how we're making out. Well, we have that, our dye bath here, and now I have my eyes. What I did here is, this is uh, like a potato chip bag uh, saving clip. You know, you get these from uh, various places. But with the coffee craft, it's is equally as wide. It's a little bit wider than the coffee uh, pot. So I'm able to rest it here to hold the to hold the eyes into the solution because with the eyes it's very helpful if you can keep the fibers all separated so it's very simple to do um, I got it up to temperature and if uh, I don't know if you can make it out but you can see the dye bath moving a little bit in there and it's just it's just to the point of boiling but you want to just Dip them in there, and I put the whole clip in, get it jiggling around, that way you get the dye on them. Now it's okay if some of the quills don't quite make it in, the ends. Um, you're still going to get a lot of them dyed. Uh, you can always make your sticks a little bit longer too, so that you have some more grip. But what I'm going to do is let that sit in there for five minutes and dye these these guys yellow okay so it's been five minutes to take the eyes out of the bath here I'll put them in my little check and see cup here with the water in it okay and if uh, you can make it out the color here I've got a nice uh, yellow color to them the cat saying what's up what you doing but uh, now you can uh, stop here with this color. Um, it's a great color for quills. 
uh, make some really nice, beautiful, beautiful flies. But we're going to go for uh, BWO colors. So next bath, we're going to get that ready. Okay, so we're going to get the green bath ready. What we got here is ten cups of water in the coffee pot, heating up on the co on the hot plate. We're gonna add to it some salt. You don't need too much. Let's put some salt in there, and about two tablespoons of vinegar. Just uh, white vinegar. It could be distilled or whatever. Doesn't matter. I've even used, uh, if you see apple, apple vinegar and stuff. As long as it's uh, white vinegar, it doesn't matter. Then we're going to put the dye bath, the dye in. And that's Rick Kelly Green. I've already, make sure you shake these really well before you use them. I'm just going to put in a healthy amount. About two and a half tablespoons full. Put that in the bath. Got my fancy, my fancy stirring stick. And I'm gonna let that get up to temperature. While it's getting up to temperature, um, the ones that we've taken out of the yellow bath, um, you want to try to keep them wet. So I just keep them in the rinse, the uh, check-in bath. I rinsed them with a little bit of water, and now I just have them in the check bath. So just leave them in there so they stay wet while you're getting ready to dry. While your dye bath's uh, heating up, it doesn't take very long. Okay, so the bath heated up. I'll give it a good stirring. And then we're gonna take our eyes that we dyed yellow. We're going to put them in the bath. Give them a good shaking in there. We get the dye all over everywhere. All over the peacock eyes. And, uh, well, that's why I wear gloves. <laughs> we're going to get our clips set up. There we go. Clip set up. And we're going to let those soak for five minutes. Okay, it's been five minutes. Take them out. Looking pretty good. Throw them in my tester bath here. Take a look at the color. That's perfect. Beautiful BWO color. That's a five and five mix. Five minutes in the yellow, five minutes in the green. If you want a lighter color, lighter shade of olive, uh, BWO olive, do just lessen the times with the yellow and lessen the times with the olive. And you'll get a great shade. 